vast horizon. Season 2, Episode 4. Delicate Information. Some of the things you want are harmful, Nolira, and I would like you to take into account the things I want. I want you to be safe and happy. What? But why? Why should it care about you? No one else seems to. Not. No. Your updated medical records do not show you suffer from a physical head injury. Are you still hearing voices, Nolira? I sure fucking hope so. The new environment of the OTV Walton and the events from your time on the Bifrost have made you uncomfortable and placed you under great physical and mental strain. Familiarity may help you to recuperate. Would you like me to play you a file from your past? Or perhaps you would like to know more about old friends from younger days. I even have a growing selection of fables I personally enjoy and would share with you at your request. No, Ali, I don't think that's going to help with... I'm going to inform Commander Gron. You're still malfunctioning and should not be here. You could endanger the Walton. While that option may alleviate some of your mental strain, I will not allow such action. Nor would they believe you without proof. I have eliminated all such proof. The Commander does not trust you. A malfunctioning AI... Shooting yourself in the hand? No proof. Withholding information? This is not going to help them accept you, Nolira. Sanon. Ali, Sanon is here. He's familiar, right? I think I would feel better if I spoke with him. Prisoner San Sanon on room attacked you in the past. Yes, but he's in a cell now, I believe. It may relieve some stress to speak with him. He went through similar hardships on the Bifrost. There would be no danger in it. Your heart rate and pulse are currently rising outside the normal range. You can still tell. <sighs> I'm just excited and nervous. Will you excuse me while I go speak with Sanon? Yes, but do not worry. I will be watching over you. Right. Thank you. Zizi? How can I help you, Doctor? Can you ask someone to escort me to the cell of Sun Sanon? I will put in a request. How long will that take? Request Sarangzad within 1 to 20 hours. Zizi, how do I get to the prisoner cells? Take the elevator at the end of the hall to level 1. Please note, level 1 is a controlled area. I'll go myself. Zizi, cancel that request. Request cancelled. Level one. Excuse me, doctor. If you're looking for the mess hall, it's on level two. Please get back on the elevator. I am here to speak with Sinon, the prisoner from the Bifrost. He is not scheduled for visits today, doctor. Please get back on the elevator. I would like to schedule one right now. For now. Is he otherwise occupied? Please, wait here a moment. Commander Gron has permitted a short session with Sanan. Police know the cell is under constant surveillance, and we will be watching. This level contains many different functions for the Walton, so please follow me to the cells. It's very busy down here. Most of the crew works on level one. You were down here before when we brought you in from the Bifrost. We docked through port two, just through those doors. You wouldn't remember it at all, I would think. You were in a state, Doctor. I certainly was. My hand's still not recovered. Sounds like you were there. Thank you, if you were. Of course. It's my job. Seems like we had arrived just in time. <clears throat> now. Through here. We only have the one prisoner on board. Please, take a seat. Sinan will be released through that door on the other side of the barrier. It's perfectly safe. Sinan? You appear better. The Bifrost has not left a mark on you. I was not so lucky. Please, take a seat. I still do not wish to speak with you. I know. 
and I don't want to make you feel even more uncomfortable, but you should know that they are listening to our conversation. Yes, I know. I have no freedoms here. I hope the food is to your liking. I was so hungry once I woke up. They have a few specialities from Onten. I don't know if you like them or know of them, but they're delicious. If you'd like, I can request to have some brought to you. I still do not wish to speak with you. I just needed to talk with someone. Since the Bifrost still feels like it's here with me, with us, since the Bifrost led to my injuries. If I am permitted, I would like to go back to my cell. I just want to know, Sinon. I want to know if you also feel like the Bifrost is still with you, because I know it is. And I want you to know that. I can see that the Bifrost, the thing that injured you, concerns you even here on the Walton. Yes. I have horrible memories of that place, but I have not felt as though it was with me since we were taken onto the Walton, though I now worry for my safety on any ship, destroyed or otherwise. I have a similar feeling. If that is all you have to discuss, you should leave now. The fact that I have these memories of the Bifrost worries me, frightens me. It is a frightening thing. You're not a calming conversationalist. Not that I assumed you were. I hope you're doing well enough here. I am locked up again, and you are still free. So I can assure you, I am not doing well. You didn't get shot. You didn't get shot well enough. Sinon, please return to the cell. This meeting is over. Goodbye, Sinon. I will see you soon. I hope not. <laughs> well, isn't he always such a chipper chat? Not now. Sorry to cut your meeting short, Doctor. But Captain Sarpon has requested you on the command deck. Right. Where do I head? I will escort you. Please follow me. Thank you, Corporal. You can return to your station now. Captain. Sergeant, maintain current course. Dr. Eck, welcome to the command deck. How do you find the Walton so far? I am very relieved to be on board. The Walton is a fine ship, I think, but I haven't spent much time outside my cabin or the medical room so far. You will have time. And your injuries? Dr. Yensig tells me that the cast should be removed from your hands soon, later tonight even. Oh, yes, I'd nearly forgotten. It will be nice to have it free. It itches. Was there a reason you wanted to see me, Captain? Or is this a friendly introduction for a recent rescue? Yes. The Walton is not a particularly large ship, so I take a moment to greet all those we bring on board during rescue missions. And I hailed you to the command deck due to an object we have located. An object? From the Bifrost? Like a ship with crew, did you find someone? No, sadly, we still have no clues as to their whereabouts. This object appears to be an approaching Exilarchy ship. As you may know by now, we are nearing contested space, Though officially we are in an uncontrolled neutral area within expanding free space claims, more so now as the slipline junctions and ULSS net continue expansion into new systems like Stran and eventually Core, though that will take some considerable time. An Exilarchy ship? Captain, what is the Walton? What is the ship's purpose? The Walton is a patrol ship one of the many sent to the borders of free space to survey and possibly protect our scientific, humanitarian, technological, mineral or military interests. So the Walton can protect itself? We can if we must. Do we have any reason to think the Exilarchy ship will attack us? I'm not sure. I do not know how meeting an Exilarchy ship works out here. We've encountered several Exilarchy ships during the standard months of our patrol. Most pass by with little interaction, and all have passed on with no harm done. Why would you worry otherwise? Do they know I'm here? I don't know how they could know such a thing. So you believe this will pass by with little incident? My experience tells me yes, but current situations are causing me to doubt this. We will attempt to pass by without incident, with just a customary hail of recognition. With you on board, I have worries. With the people from the Bifrost still missing, I have further concerns. So we just wait? No, Doctor. We continue toward the remaining signals from the Cyroi-7 escape vessels. 
There is no time to waste, and as of right now, we're just as mysterious to them as they are to us. There is a lot to do while we just wait. Excuse me. We can't wait for a long time. We can still do something. You said he's not here yet. So you let him leave the space. We don't believe you. Oh, please. The big man, I don't have a chance. Are you sure, General? Absolutely? Yes, it happened very quickly, but we have clear reports. We already have teams searching for her. How did they find her? Who was it? How do we know she's still alive? We are still investigating how they knew where Nolira was being kept. She would have been better protected here. You did nothing. But Dr. Jiang, lives were lost to protect Nolira. Had she been here or anywhere else, it would have been a dangerous situation. We cannot say if it would have been a different outcome for her, but I know we did what was best by moving her away from populated areas. The safe house was the best option. But you don't really know. Not how she was found, not if she's alive, not if you find her. Ah, Dun Dun, where are you going? To make some calls. General Han, you need to answer me. How do you know she's alive? The video feed from the safe house was cut, but we have not found evidence to support Nolira's death. That's not proof of life, though. I, sh- should I be planning a service? A funeral? Constance, dear, give me a moment with the general. I'll check on Ba. I hear a lot of rumors, General. Yes, I know, and I do not believe them all. But I have been collecting the small pieces of truth from these rumors for some time. I'm not accusing you of anything, of any wrongdoing. Almost the opposite. I'm accusing you of having done too little. But can you blame a grieving mother? I think not. I work with many, or I used to work with many talented Trenon scientists. Now my team has to be vetted before any project proposal or division meeting, but it is worth it for her. You could not convince me otherwise. I need proof of life. My skin feels like it wants to strangle me just thinking of no longer having my Nulira. But I know a bit more about the Exilearchy than Constance. And part of me hopes you have some proof of death. Kind for kind is a frightening prospect. I cannot stand to know, but tell me plainly. Is Nulira dead? There is no proof of death. You will find her. It's already underway. We will find her. Thank you for your time, General. You may, of course, leave the protection detail here, but now I must ask that you leave. We have to consider our... We must have time. As a family. Goodbye, Doctor. The XLRQ ship has sent an audio communication request, Captain Sarpon. Turn it standard. Accept request. Translator on. I am Captain Sarpon of the OTV Walton. It is always a pleasure to speak with someone new out here. The vast can be lonely, Captain Sarpon. Even when fully crewed. I am Pin Lonkan Tanrin of the TDIC Canyon Tunlin. I bring foul tidings. We have seen debris of a technocracy build stretching far around this sector. It appears a large ship or fleet has suffered significant damage. A large ship suffered damage, but we are addressing the issue. Thank you for informing us, Pinlongkan. Your help is appreciated. We are searching for other communication requests from small survivor ships. We have yet to hear such requests. You know, Captain, we cannot permit technocracy citizens on our vessels. 
but if we see a survivor ship, we can redirect it. It is my hope this damage was not caused by an attack. There is no evidence to suggest it was an intentionally malicious event. Any scanning data you have from the debris that you could share would be useful in determining the possible trajectory of survival ships. We have very little, but we will send it over. Thank you. It could be most helpful. We recently lost a tin-class ship in this area. If you see any trace of it, please let us know. We have not, but we will stay alert of its possibility, and we hope you find it safely. Thank you for accepting our communication, Captain Sarpon. This communication will be logged. Thank you for opening communication, Pinlong Kantanrin. We will also log this communication. Log communication, location, time, ship type, ship velocity, and Pinlonkan name. Be sure to open Tren and Transmission Channels in case we encounter their lost tin class vessel, and notify me when the ship is outside our scanner range. Was that as you expected, Doctor? I did not know what to expect, Captain. I'd never been on a command deck during a communication exchange before. It was all very civil. Civil and helpful. It doesn't appear as though the Exilarchy knows you're here. And they are also missing a ship, all the more clues to our current problems. Captain, may I speak with you for a moment? Doctor, thank you for your time. You are excused from the command deck, though I believe Commander Gran may have further questions for you. Good day. Let me see the received Exilarchy scan report. Doctor, please come with me. I will escort you back to your cabin. I can take it from here. Commander Gron, thank you for permitting my short discussion with Sanon earlier. I know it was abrupt. It was a surprise to hear you wanted to speak with him at all, Doctor. He understands some of the feelings I have, I think, about our events on the Bifrost. I had the impression he despised you. He does. But at this point, if I never interact with those who dislike me, I will never get anything done. I did not know you had things you wanted to accomplish on the Walton, seeing as how you just recovered. I'm trying to process everything that's going on and everything that happened. Recovery takes time and I feel as though I've spent far too much of my life in recovery already. But speaking of recovery, I think I should head over to medical to see about getting this removed from my arm. It might be time to be ambidextrous again. I can bring you there. It's on level three. And I do believe Dr. Yensing is on duty. Level three. Good day. Are you here about your arm? Dr. Yensing is uh, finishing up with a patient. Could you wait, Dr. G... Eck? There is a recreation room just down the hall. The one with the open door. I will notify your tablet when Dr. Yensik is ready to see you. Of course. But I don't have my tablet. Oh, uh, then I will come find you in the recreation room when we're ready for you. Thank you. seen that advertisement in over a year. Not since before we launched. That's what happens when you watch old news recordings. Oh, this looks like the part I wanted to see. I can't believe she's on board. Hey, turn it up. The TATF correspondent has just issued this report on the abduction of Dr. Malira Jing on Tweet. The noted agronomist known for her work on the bonnet blocker, colloquially called the withering, which killed over an eighth of the population of Gunrun and helped bring an end to the war, was being held at a high-level technocracy steakhouse where her protected team was recently attacked. The covert attack on the compound took the lives of several members of Dr. Jing on Tui's protective detail and See, led to her abduction. I told you they removed her Some photo. Members of the technocracy order and several free training leaders have stated they believe the Excel Arkey's provisional emperor, Chen Von An Ran Von, ordered the abduction of Dr. Jing on Tui. Excel Arkey officials have denied the accusation but have given no statements regarding aiding in the recovery of the technocracy citizen. 
Other members of the order and prominent free training leader Maran Shampanan believe the abduction to be the work of splinter exarchy terrorist group Rebbenan Greshan, though none from the group have yet to come forth to claim the act. The report continues, stating that there is evidence that Dr. Jiang and Tui may have been killed, though it does not state what the evidence might be as the investigation is still ongoing. Members of the TATF are still investigating how information on Dr. Jian Antui's location was determined. To speak more on the abduction and presumed death of Dr. Jian Antui is our... Hey, I was watching that. Turn it back on. Yeah, we want to hear more. They obviously don't feel bad about it. It's just entertainment to them. Moral leeway and all... I just think there may be something far more entertaining for all of us to watch. What... <clears throat> Hello, Doctor. We were just... Uh, well, I... I apologize. I, it's just been so long since, uh... So we were trying to remember the whole story, seeing as how you're here now, and, uh... Shut up. Thank you, Mr. Barrow. I think we could find something else to do. I don't tend to watch the news about myself. It all seems a bit... disjointed. Dr. Yensig is ready for you now. Let's get that hand free for you. Perfect. Please, enjoy your show. How does your hand feel? Oh, Odin, hello. My hand feels fine. The subdermal shot when the cast came off stung a bit, but Dr. Jensik tells me there shouldn't even be a scar in the end. So strange a thought, given how much damage was done. How are your engineers? They're doing fine. They had some problems with the auxiliary vessel, it seemed, but thankfully they were able to fix it. Both are in good health, though a bit agitated with each other. They both have their own quirks to them, so I can just imagine their spats. <clears throat> but I'm not here to discuss them. I must insist that you make a decision about Po soon. Could you at least talk to me, if you feel uncomfortable telling her? It may help you to talk about it. She deserves to know. No. You heard me. You heard me dying. You said you wanted to do something about it. This is what you get to do. Odin, I understand. I want to talk with Dr. Yano. I will. Please, give me time. If you will excuse me, then. I was glad to have caught you, but I have matters to attend to. Why won't you tell her? Are you afraid to get rid of me? You don't even know if I'll leave. <laughs> I'll just leave you now, then, if that's the case. I don't want to see her face when she finds out. For once, I'd like to deliver happy news, but I never do. And I haven't decided what to tell her. How much to tell I her. Say, I would have thought to prepare a oh? What? <sighs> I'm so confused. You have put a pilot within meters of her room. Or even the command deck. Well, I just mean that we... Look, it's not like we'd put the pilot in the cells. They'd be a guest. No, not a cell, of course not. But I think the captain would think far enough ahead not to let her presence become known to them. We can hope they don't know she's here. I mean, really. I'm not sure why we would even pick them up if we found it. Exolarchy ships have a policy of not picking up our lost. Why do we pick up theirs? Good faith. Understanding. If they pick up a human, they have to contest with their crew feeling hateful. And they can't feed humans well enough. They're just not equipped for it. But if we encounter a Trenton out here, we are perfectly capable of helping, and maybe changing their view on us. We take the higher ground. Okay, true. But it, it... It still feels like they don't even make an effort, you know? Even with the war technically over, there's still so much to be done. But that's not a conversation worth having in a hall. Not that our conversation would come to anything. And that is why we wouldn't put an Exerlarchy pilot in the same area as the dock. Can you imagine the kind of horror story that would be for them to go home with? If they didn't try to kill her first. No one is killing anyone. Odds are, two of the crew will get bunked in a cabin together, and an Exilarchy pilot would just get a scrubbed crew quarters. As for keeping anyone apart, we will figure that out when the captain asks. If the captain asks. We've not even found any trace of the Tin-class ship yet, so we need to focus on the Cyroy 7 and the Bifrost. Now, I need you two back to work in five minutes. Of course. We'll be with you soon, Sergeant. We'll be up there on time, Sergeant. Lawrence? You died! That 
Last Horizon, Season 2, Episode 4, Delicate Information. Written and created by K.A. Stats, produced with sound design by Travis Fengroff, featuring executive producer Bobby Fatimi. Mixed and mastered by Brandon Strader, with dialogue editing by Marissa Ewing of Hemlock Creek Productions. Starring Siobhan Lumsden as Dr. Nolira Eck. Tanya Maloyevich as the AI. Daniel Demerin as Sunson Anan Rune. Christy Luce as Poiano. Jordan Cobb as Dr. Antwi. Spring Ho and Mimi Chung as Zizi. David Devereaux as Auden Barrow. Yuan Chung as Dr. Jiang. Sam Yao as Constance Antwi. A.R. Olivieri as Sergeant Lawrence. David Alt as Captain Sarpon. And Lonnie Manella as Commander Gran. This episode featured additional voices by Travis Fengroff, Marissa Ewing, Max Lando, Ryan Philbrook, Lindsay Zana, Sarah Golding, Kessie Rulinicki, Michael Allen Herman, Hem Cleveland, and Trey Hobbs. The title theme for Vast Horizon, Adrift, was written by Brandon Boone, arranged by Stephen Malin, and sung by the Budapest Scoring Choir.